Hi, I'm Cindy Snyder, and I welcome you to On the Same Page, Your City and You. Tonight, we will meet individuals from city government, Newcastle organizations, and nonprofits, and hear what their roles are in your community. This is the first of a three night series of presentation. The next one will be on Wednesday, March 8th, and the final one is Wednesday, March 22nd. So this is how the evening will proceed. We have seven to eight speakers a night. Each will speak for approximately five minutes, and then we'll go on to the next speaker. There will be no questions and answers between speakers. After the last speaker is done, we will have our social hour where you can meet the speaker and talk with them, ask questions while enjoying the refreshments in the back. We have wine, fruit, cheese, and sweets, so please help yourself and take as much as you want. Um, I want to thank our sponsors, the Newcastle Community Partnership and the Newcastle Library. And thank you to Library Director Julie Kirk for uh, hosting this program. So now we'd like to start with our first speaker, Mayor Mike Caranta. Well, thank you everybody. Um, I'm Mike Quaranta, and it's my privilege to serve as mayor of the city of Newcastle. Um, to level set, let me just say a few things that probably most of us in this room know, but um, I think it's important to kind of start from the same basis of understanding. We've got about 5,500 residents throughout our community, uh, but we swell to a number much, much larger than that during the day. Some people exit to go to work, but a, a, several thousand people come in uh, to fill some of our commercial and industrial centers throughout the day. Um, and some estimates have us at about 15 to 20,000 20, uh, people during the day um, when uh, those parks are all filled. Um, we have over 10 neighborhoods across our community um, and our residential housing spans the range of single family, multifamily, condominium, townhouse, row home, uh, etc. We've got several schools in our community, uh, both private, public, and charter. Uh, I think the largest may be the charter school uh, off Lucan's Drive, um, which is Newcastle Charter, which is, a, I believe, a K through eight uh, facility. They've got 735 kids um, at that school every day. Um, we've got, in addition to that, we are home to the Newcastle Vocational Skill Center, um, which provides adult education training, and that's in the Twin Spans uh, Industrial Park. So if you're interested in becoming a carpenter, a plumber, uh, a technologist, or uh, getting your BSN in nursing, um, you can uh, jump out of one career and head right into something else uh, uh, through those adult vocational skills uh, opportunities. Um, we've got a thriving commercial sector that uh, includes a couple of hundred licensed businesses. They're quite diverse. Um, we have manufacturers like Zenith Corporation, uh, JFFD, which is just food for dogs. Um, we have service and distribution companies like Amazon, Nixon Uniform, national retail uh, operations like Home Depot, Costco, and the like, uh, and restaurants and shops that populate our downtown area, the farmer's market, and along our busy thoroughways. Um, I mention all this commercial activity because their presence in our community is substantial and it helps keep our water and electricity rates uh, some of the lowest in the state. Simply put, they basically subsidize the residential rates. And without them, we would be paying substantially higher water and electric rates. Um, they help us, of course, buy at a scale we would otherwise not need with 5,500 people, roughly 2,000 uh, residential units. The Office of the Mayor has got many different duties. Um, I attend council meetings and provide thought leadership, serve as a member of the three commission board that oversees the work of the Municipal Services Commission, and that is, our, of course, our water and electric utility. Uh, I chair the Board of Adjustment, which is a quasi-judicial process, which uh, rules on zoning and other local property challenges. Uh, the mayor also chairs the Board of Building Appeals, and that's relatively a new thing, but that is, um, that seeks to mitigate the effects of um, properties that have fallen into uh, disrepair or that have been abandoned altogether, and so we meet with the ownership in an effort to improve those properties. Mayor also makes appointments to boards and commissions uh, in our community. And um, I have the privilege of marrying people. I did that one time during my four-year term, <laughs> it was kind of fun. 
Um, we've got a roughly $6 million budget, a city staff of about 38, and that includes 18 members of our city police department. Our utility team has about another 20 employees. Um, uh, and as you know, and you'll learn from uh, MSC when they present, uh, they're a subsidiary of the city of Newcastle. Uh, we have our we have many parks, so we provide many city services, including trash recycling, yard waste <coughs> pickup, storm drain maintenance, tree trimming, curb repairs, and painting, and more on a daily basis. Our city is managed by a full-time city administrator. Finally, the mayor serves as the visible presence of our community. It's called upon to attend events, offer remarks, and the like. How's that, Matt? How do you do? Time? Uh, about four and a half. Four and a half. A hand. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.